All right, folks, welcome back to Top Comics Pressing. In this video, what I want to do is kind of address a sort of unique problem here, which is called a gatefold gate cover. So this is a copy of Daredevil number no. nine from 1999. So this one's popular for its echo appearance. Uh, and if you open up the front cover here, you can see that this one has a cover that folds under and then folds out when you open it. So if you look under the glare here along the spine on this comic book, you can kind of see that there is a line that or a ridge that goes, you know, right along here kind of uh, and that is from that inner gatefold cover. And so if you take this comic book and you press it, you're going to end up having a line or a ridge here because that inner cover that's tucked under has a thickness. And if you put pressure on this, you know, you're going to put more pressure on that raised area and not as much over here. Now, the conventional wisdom for this issue is to uh, put a little strip of paper or cardboard or cardstock in here to match the thickness of that cover as well as you know the width of that space. Now that does work. Uh, the only problem with that is I'm too clumsy to get that uh, width right and more importantly I'm not quite agile enough to get that strip to sit there particularly if I'm putting normal cardstock under the front cover to get close to the spine and if you screw that up you're either going to end up with a valley because it's not in the right spot or you're going to end up with it sliding under the cover then you're going to end up triple thick and no thick and you're going to have an even worse ridge so um, what i like to do is try to keep things simple and in this case what it means to me is to open this up and what we're going to do is press it on flat and then at the end of the press what we're going to do is tuck that gatefold under and the reason i like this is because then when we're pressing it flat there's nothing here to cause that ridge and we can put our normal cardstock there now the cardstock is going to end here but because we're going to have all that other stacking material and that comic um, we're not actually going to leave a ridge here because this thing's going to be free floating between a relatively thick stacking layer whereas all the comic has all of the pressure on it it won't affect this part and so that's pretty cool so uh for you know for our modern comic there's another thing i want to point out here uh, and this one has kind of an unusual detail if we look there is a top staple um, but this particular issue was manufactured without a bottom staple and so that means we're gonna have to be extra careful there on that top staple all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get this one in my modern humidity chamber right here and then i'll come on back and show you how i stack it in the press all right here we go we have our comic book in the humidity chamber so a separate video on that how i use it and why i use it so i'll drop that in the description below uh we're gonna go ahead and load this in our tussie i've got my stacking layers lined up we're already at 155 so and this comic's been in here for about three minutes it's midsummer in uh, indiana here so that's about as hot as i want to go so first thing we're going to do here is turn off the the humidity tank and i've already got it open to the center fold which i think is okay for moderns i know some people cringe at that but um, i think for a modern book it's just fine so what we're going to do here is give it a center stuff with a magazine backing board just kind of how we always do and even though this doesn't have a bottom staple i'm still going to do my trick here where i push with the palm and just get a little bit of pressure right on that staple to get it to make sure it's nice and snug and i'm going to do the same thing on the bottom here even though we don't have that uh, staple um, and now i'm going to take my cardstock and slide it right on in there again and again the important part of this is having my hand open in veed so i have a video doing this with an amazing spider-man 300 so i'm going to go ahead and drop a link for that so you can get a little bit more explanation as to what i'm doing right here um, and then i'm going to grab my last sheet of cardstock and you can see that that cover is already wanting to come open so what i'm going to do is just slide this cardstock kind of in there and you know we just want to make sure it's nice and snug and then this one i'm going to open and kind of roll across there now I'm going to shift my grip a little bit so that I can put this one cover up and I've got my hand in there to help support it on down. So there we go. There's our comic with our, our kind of uh, sheet sticking out and we're going to put the SRP paper over the top and I'm not going to worry about this because again the thickness is going to be just fine. So you don't have to worry about that. I know it may, might make you nervous looking at it but trust me it'll be okay. We're going to put our, uh, these are the uh, Treasury slash Life Magazine size backer boards. And then I'm going to put my plate on that. 
right nice and so and then we're just going to give it a nice shut a little click and then i'm going to leave that for 15 minutes we'll go ahead and click this button here uh, just to tell it to chill out now what i want to show you is this thing sticking out and if you're a harry potter fan this thing to me looks like the monster manual you know the book that tries to eat harry and hides under his his bed and Hagrid has to educate him. But this to me looks like a monster manual tongue sticking out from the box. Now, if you zoom in here, you can see why I'm not worried about that sticking out. So we've got a lot of layers of thickness in here between the book and those treasuries. And none of that is applying pressure to this because there's a thicker surface there. And you're gonna put pressure on that thicker surface, not on this thing dangling off. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and give this 15 minutes in the cooker, and then I'm gonna turn it off, and then I'll show you what it looks like 12 hours after that. All right, here's the all-important switch of... Okay, power's off. Means we're in for a 12-hour cool down. All right, here we are 12 hours later. So as I said, I do a 12 hour cold press for all my comic books. And so we can go ahead and take this and pull it on out. And I just typically gently remove the stacking layers by putting them on over here. And again, the seam is nice and flat at the moment. So we're just gonna reach on here and support the spine from underneath as we pull it out. Uh, remove the stacking layers just how we did for the Amazing Spider-Man 300 and we have this nice cover now hanging out so what we're going to do is just slide that down on the board. I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit and then what I tend to do here is just gently fold this under. So open it on up a little bit. The crease is still there so just fold it on under Right, nice. Now it will be a little puffed up because of course it was flat when we were folding it under. And so I just gently fold it down. You can use a folding tool if you'd like, but gent usually uh, just a little bit of light touch is all you need. And now we don't have that ridge here anymore. So it's all looking pretty good. So now what I'm gonna do is just take this book and get it right on into my Gerber full backboard. And this is how I send all my books to CGC, as you've seen in the other videos. And again, I'm sliding the comic book, not the board, to avoid color rub on the back cover. And then, there we go. Uh, people have asked about tape. I use the painter tape. Uh, if I go into CGC, I tend to use two pieces. So I only got one, two. There we go. So this one's ready for a slab. Uh, thanks for watching. This is how I do this. Now, other popular comic books that have this are the Amazing Spider-Man Cosmic Carnage duo. So I forget exactly wh what the numbers are in the Amazing Spider-Man run, but it's about 431 comes to mind. So Cosmic Carnage with uh, the Silver Surfer, Spider-Man, and Carnage on the cover from the mid-90s. So that's another popular one as well as, you know, others. But those are probably the two most common. So hopefully that helps. Um, take it easy. Stay tuned. Uh, click that subscribe button. Leave a thumbs up for the video. Share the channel with a friend. Always appreciated. Check out other pictures on Instagram and Facebook. So thanks for watching.